Yes, it's the arts presents today. We are going to see how to make a stylish, beautiful double layer necklace set using silk thread. The materials required are wooden beads, small down hangings of golden one, back thread, small end rings, the top part that is the top bead of the golden ones, head beads of the golden ones, small beads, wire, glue, cutter, take the wooden thread. Now wrap 20 rounds of green thread and then straighten it first. Take glue and apply it in the inner circumference of the wooden bead and nicely paste it using glue. Now take the other edge and make it into sharp so that it easily turns inside the wooden bead hole. Now after the glue has dried right, first straighten the thread and nicely, see if you notice I am straightening it here and nicely tighten it and then turn it. Ensure that it doesn't overlap on the next one and there are no gaps in between. So we have to push that nicely with our fingers so that there are no gaps in between and it doesn't overlap on the next one. We are going to repeat the same process till the end. the finger cut it and then now apply glue and push that inside make four green ones and six of the cream color ones I have used two different shades over there now I'm taking the head caps and I'm just going to glue them directly onto the beads so that they will remain tight and intact and they won't come at any instance of time or else if they become little loose right they could come out so I'm just making sure that I'm just going to glue all the head caps and I'll just allow them to dry for a while and then I'll start inserting that into the wire. taking the wire and cutting it. I am taking two wires. If you notice there, there are two wires. Since we need a double layer locket, right? I am putting two wires and inserting the end bead over there. Now, I am putting the jump ring and inserting the jump ring by looping it into the end bead. So, I am now first securing the end bead first. I am pushing the end string. That is the layers back so now it has four layers the end bead has four layers I'm pushing it inside nicely and tightly and then securing the end bead the small end bead if you notice I have left the some more additional space of the wire here because it's to ensure that it doesn't come out at any time and two three beads are covered on it if it is small two three beads since it's a big bead right if one bead or one half bead is covered also that's fine so if you notice there is an extra portion that is outside and four lines can be seen at the end. Now what I'm going to do is for the first layer, right? Now if you notice, I'm putting the two strings and then inserting the bead. So on either sides, right, to get this two, two step finish, right, one bead that will be inserted will be common to both the strings. Next, I have inserted the gold bead only to the top string. I'm just going to put a bunch of about 10 of the small hanging golden beads they will give a nice effect in the end right when especially in the end right they will give a nice dazzling effect so i'm just going to put 10 beads over here this is only to the top layer now i'm only going on to the top layer over here Next, I have put another golden bead. Again, the silk thread bead is going on to the top layer. Here, I have inserted the cream. 
cream color silk thread now again followed my two golden beads and one round shiny stone bead and then again normal bead again i am inserting the same color silk thread bead this is the pattern that i am going to follow this is the top layer so again golden bead followed by the stone bead and again golden bead insert the third color cream silk thread bead now after this put the gold bead again 10 small jerry these are called as jerry or drops of gold beads put one golden bead and stop it there now we are going to come to the lower layer now i am starting the down part i have first put the golden bead and now i am putting the jerry beads or the small gold drops about 10 of the small gold drops now the second layer has started if you notice now again i am putting another golden bead followed by the silk thread bead again another golden bead followed by zari the stone bead in the center because they look very attractive and shining right so for the middle two i'm just going to put the stone beads so now again followed by the golden bead and followed by the nice green color silk thread bead after this i'm going to put a golden bead followed by a stone bead because the top also have used two stone beads right so i'm just going to follow the same pattern in the bottom also now again i'm going to put the cream color silk thread bead followed by golden bead followed by the stone bead because the two i need two stone beads right because top has two stone beads so i'm going to put two stone beads in the bottom also and then again now followed by this green color silk thread bead again gold bead and then again zari 10 pieces of zari over here put the end bead over here followed by the jump ring i'm bringing the end bead to the end now i'm just going to loop this back by cutting it and then loop this back into the end bead first and then into the main silk thread green bead for it to bend and go inside so i'm just looking 
first one first and the next one after that now using a cutter i'm just going to bring that out first and then i'm just inserting that inside the end bit now i'm tightening the end bit by tightly pressing it The other side is already ready, right? When we did it for the first turn, that was easy. This ending one is a little bit difficult. Now I am putting the back chain. Just open the hooks and then just put it inside the loops. The beautiful necklace is ready. It's very simple to make and very elegant. The side view of the beautiful necklace. Now the view of the necklace. Wow, it looks cute, right? watching the video subscribe for more updates leave your valuable comments and likes thank you